I'm gonna take a ferry in New York for the first time. And a photographer came up to me. So we were able to secure some tickets for a last minute Broadway show. So now we're just eating right beforehand and hopefully have a great night. I guess it would suck if you like sat red behind one of those pillars, but the pillars aren't bad. had a lot of rare books and the guy who owns it actually started out as a side hustle from his day job just collecting and selling rare books that seems really cool and i hope next time i could get something like that for my coffee table got out of commune that space was really cool they have rotating selections from new growing independent artists and the flared pants was definitely a big highlight especially the cargo i really want to try that next time maybe in a different color one thing as well is definitely the interior space in design one thing i really appreciate about fashion stores is when they make the space and environment feel really cool and vibey that was a really unique piece about that
experience my first jazz bar in New York, here in the West Village. It's pretty nice. Went to Arthur's Tavern. Highly recommend it. The next set had a horn in it, but unfortunately we didn't have the time. So I'm bummed about that, but hopefully round two. landed in Brooklyn. I'm excited for today because I'll be spending the whole day in Brooklyn and in Queens later and now I'm heading to L'Apartment 4F which is a cafe I've been wanting to try for a while especially their croissants they're very hyped up so let's go to it. Pistachio Rose Croissant was so good. I definitely want to try that again if I ever visit again. And the tahini chocolate chip cookie was pretty decent, but it was really nice that I got a fresh batch right out of the oven. But I probably would have gone for a chocolate croissant, which is usually my staple when I try out a new cafe, but I didn't want to get two uh, croissants. now because I'm gonna take a ferry in New York for the first time. I need to get to the other side of Brooklyn from Dumbo to Greenpoint. So apparently the cost of a ferry is just like a subway. So I'm gonna take that now. sandwich and then on the right is their house made fries with furukake on it and then I got their also house craft yuzu ginger ale so I'm really excited to dig in and the outdoor space here of the restaurant is like so cute 
and it has Snow Peak, one of my favorite Japanese camping brands. It reminds me of eating um, when I've gone camping so many times back home where I'm from, Arizona. I've never had Japanese food while camping per se, but it does give me nostalgia for all the times I went camping growing up, so I'm ready to dive in. wanted to try this new dessert which is a rice yogurt now apparently some people like it better than boba so I'm going to dual me I think it's called and I'm gonna go try it out Good. I'm, glad, I'm glad to hear that all right got the rice yogurt Got the purple rice flavor. It was just the number one flavor. So I'm just gonna try it out and see how it tastes. That's very different. Wow. It definitely tastes like yogurt, <laughs> surprisingly enough, but the purple rice is actually very savory. Um, I don't know if it's like a traditional thing, but I really like it. All right, today's the last day, full day in the city. Right now I'm going for breakfast and supposedly this place is a long line, but I think I'm pretty good for a Tuesday morning, especially during the weekday. So we'll see how it goes. The most peculiar thing happened to me. I was just sitting on the bench over there and a photographer came up to me and asked if I could take a picture of your smile. You have a really great smile. And I was like, sure, why not? And it turns out it was for this research group called Matter Neuroscience. It's like a collection of neuroscientists studying happiness. And so apparently they're doing some photography project and I hope I get to see it soon, and I hope I get to recognize my own smile.
I've never been in a Michelin restaurant in New York. The only times I've had it was when I was in Japan earlier this year. And yeah, the prefix menu was delicious, especially the Bing Su and the pumpkin soup definitely stood out to me. I think the seafood bowl was a little bit too pricey for what I wanted, but it still tasted pretty good. It reminded me of a Kaisendon, which is like a seafood bowl. And yeah, I hope to try more Korean cuisine, especially here in the city, because that's definitely something I haven't had the opportunity to explore with more fine dining. So overall, amazing. And I look forward to the next culinary experience.